morning flip siders. What a beautiful day it is. This is just such a beautiful morning and I came down to the end of my street and there's something to be said about being able to walk to the end of my street and hear my voice crack and look out at just this awesome green golf course. I mean, there's a lot of just dirt and mountains around here but Nevada really is beautiful and Carson City in particular there's nothing spectacular about it and I'm so used to it because I've been here my entire life sometimes you you know you can't really appreciate the fact that we have just awesome mountains and we're right next to the Sierra Nevadas and you know I'm a 20 minute drive from Lake, Lake Tahoe and you know I do live in a pretty cool place that I think I take it uh, take for granted sometimes and you know I like to come down here and sit on that bench right there and just look out over the over the golf course and at night I like to come out here and, and look at the stars even though um, sometimes you can't see a ton of stars because the street lights are on but a lot of the times street lights are actually broken so you can see a lot of stars because it's real dark out here which is always nice and I have a hole. Oh, I got a hole in my shirt. This is why I don't wear my nice shirts to work because they get ruined. I actually have a funny story about this bench that I've maybe told several times, but I'm gonna tell again. Way back when, ah, when there was a girl in my life <laughs> named Jamie. I don't know if I've I ever mentioned her. If you guys have ever heard of her before, but wow, it's bread. I wish I had my sunglasses, but. Our first kiss was on this bench right here, and it was snowing outside, and it was all covered in snow here. We were, my family and I were actually decorating for Christmas, but she came out to my house, and I met her outside, and um, we had our first kiss right here underneath a tree that used to be here. There used to be a tree just like that, right behind, directly behind me. When we finally broke up for good, like for good for good, it was a pretty windy day. Uh, and I'd come back to town because I drove to her house um, to break over there. And um, when I got back here, I was going to come to the end of the, my street and just sit and just, you know, think and just cool off a little. Not cool off, but just kind of gather my thoughts. I came around the corner and this tree under which we had our first kiss had blown over <laughs> from the wind. Like the roots were just completely up out of the ground and it had just collapsed the entire tree and the roots were sticking up out of the ground and it just, it was completely destroyed. And you know, a week later it was gone, <laughs> completely. Uh, anyway, I just think that's a funny metaphor. It was kind of ironic how, uh, or coincidental, that'd be coincidental. People confuse irony and coincidence a lot and by people I mean me. But I always thought that was funny how the day we broke up, that tree that we shared our first kiss under, <laughs> destroyed, gone, and now it's gone out of my life forever, much like Jamie. <coughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Doesn't bother me anymore. I wonder what she's up to, though. I really don't care, but I wonder. That'd be really weird if she watches these vlogs. That would be strange. Hi, Jamie, if you're what? <clears throat> I'm gonna get some breakfast. Hey, what are you doing? Just got done walking down by the river. Oh, nice. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. It's my mama. <laughs> I love my mama. Even though she makes, you know, bacon and eggs and toast in the morning for herself and then leaves none for me but the smell <laughs> for me when I walk in. I walked in, I walked in my house. No, mom, you will pay for this. Uh, I walked into the house a couple days ago and it smells so good, like bacon and eggs, and I was like, I got super excited because I'm like, did my mom like surprise me and make me breakfast? I was super excited. Came around the corner, there was nothing there. <laughs> so something kind of cool. I ended up uh, getting contacted by another brand who was looking for affiliate slash ambassadors, and um, so I was talking to them like all last night, and then I finished the conversation this morning, and. Uh, was able to get, I believe they're going to give you guys a 30% discount. It's a fitness brand. 
Um, and anyone who uses the code FLIPSIDER is going to be able to get 30% off of their order, which is pretty sweet, pretty substantial too. Um, the site seemed, um, I mean the products seemed really, they seem really nice. Um, and from, from what I've read online, it's actually a pretty good company, good product. So I, I, bought, I bought a shirt, uh, they gave me like a pretty significant discount on the shirt and they're going to send me some free stuff too. Um, and so I'm going to check it out for myself, see if I want to promote it, and then I'll give you guys the name and the website and links and stuff like that. Um, I I'm excited about the potential um, for it, and down the line, you know, they're looking to, to bring on, like, full sponsorship athletes to promote their brand. And so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, trying to get in awesome, awesome shape, and I'm going to share all of it with you guys. And but something I gotta do is I gotta be continually posting Instagram pictures, so I figured I'd do that right now, and we can kind of walk through the process of me taking a picture for Instagram. So not even just for for fitness, just for anything in general. The most important thing is your lighting. So let's go over our lighting, our very primitive lighting setup we have here in the room. So we have the overhead light, and we can do the natural light from the window. But that, you gotta know your skin tone, and this, and that white light right there typically washes out my skin tone pretty fast. And I need actually to have my glasses on during this process to actually see the screen and what's happening. So this kind of washes my skin tone out, and so we don't really want that. It could turn my magic clapper uh, this light on also, which can kind of even me out a little bit. But I still, I don't know. And then I also have this light over here, which you could use, <laughs> which, you know, I don't, it's kind of hard to tell the differences with all the lights, you know, because the thing that makes your muscles look good, obviously, is you want to have muscles a little bit, but 90% of it comes from the lighting and like the different shadows that are being cast. So here I am just standing in this light with all the different uh, I'm thinking I'm going to try to take a picture of focusing on my triceps, which is why I keep doing this. So, if we turn that off, and close this, and turn this one off, you know, then we have that overhead, which makes the shadows a little more harsh, but can give you a slightly more defined look, perhaps. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to take a couple of some different lightings figured out but whenever you're taking pictures of anything and especially people who take pictures on Instagram I mean obviously they're all gonna look awesome and they're gonna look amazing but it's probably because they took a hundred pictures 200 pictures and they're only posting the best one and so if you see someone on Instagram and you're like dang I wish I could look like that or just feel down on yourself that you don't look like them keep in mind that those pictures are very touched up the lighting is very deliberately set up and chosen to make them look as good as they possibly can and so don't don't be discouraged and some people will say that that's kind of um, being disingenuous when people use specific lighting or filters or I, I don't think that you should edit your pictures anyway in like bringing out your abs more through Photoshop and like adding abs or, or like gr or swelling certain parts of your body to make it look like you're bigger that I think would be cheating Using lighting to your advantage though, I don't see that as being disingenuous in any way because you're not actually going in and altering altering the photo in any way. That's just my opinion. Other people could disagree, other people can agree. Really doesn't matter. But lighting is the perhaps besides your actual shot composition, one of the most important things for any photographer or videographer, no matter what you're doing, whether it just be, you know, just generally taking pictures out. Or take pictures you know when you're with your family on vacation or a day out or if you're doing things more specific like trying to do fitness stuff or you know like a actual like cinematic piece but yeah just I don't know something a little bit different thought I'd share with you guys today but today I'm actually about to go to bed after I post a picture and then we are going to go to the gym and by we I probably mean me because I still haven't figured out if I can film in my gym or not but I'm going to do a push workout which is chest and triceps and shoulders, which is gonna be great. But I'm gonna get some sleep first, and then I will see you guys when I wake up in the morning. Good morning, flip setter. So it is like 5:40-ish, and I woke up 
to this package, one of my four packages that I've been expecting. And this one is from Alphalete. Let's see if they got my order right this time. <laughs> Last time I ordered a shirt, um, they sent it pretty quickly, but they just sent me the wrong size. But they did replace it with uh, with the correct size, and I didn't even have to send my other one back, so I kind of got a free shirt out of it. So I'm not complaining. They worked with me. It's very cool. And this time, I ordered a shirt and a custom backpack. By the time they got my custom backpack done, they didn't have my shirt in stock anymore that I bought. Uh, but they emailed me and let me get a, a different shirt. So. <laughs> it's been kind of weird like my interactions with them. Nothing has just worked yet But uh, they've worked with me both times very well, and so I'm not complaining And the Stuff I've got from them so far. It's been nice, and so I'm not complaining. So boom Athlete athletics Here we go I'm not sponsored <laughs> Believe it or not. I'm not I'm Sponsored like this. Okay, here we go Hey, they sent me the right size. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't know why they wrapped my sticker in a in a shirt, but I'm just, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Ugh. Yeah. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, that feels good. How's it look? You guys like it? Oh, man, these shirts are just the most comfortable shirts of any brand that I've bought. And I like the people who run it. I just, I love this company. I really do. Boom. So, I got one of their Odyssey backpacks and I flipping got it embroidered. Just gone on it. Look at that! Ow. Probably shouldn't just rip things like that. I probably should cut it. Ah, well. Ugh. And it's got a ton of pockets. I got this because I don't actually, we do not own a backpack in any way, shape, or form. And I need one because I use my dad's like all the time. So in here, there's like a pocket for your wet clothes and stuff, or food. In my case, I'll probably put food in there. Uh, sandwiches, waters. But yes, yeah, it's, it's got a bajillion pockets. It's got a sweet embroidered matte black logo with my name. I am happy with my purchase. Ah, I am very satisfied. So now I'm going to finish eating my cereal and then I'm going to go to the gym for the day. See you guys there. So I was about to leave for the gym. Until I realize that I don't have my keys. Whoa, focus. Um, and I remember that I came out here to take pictures a little while ago, and I'm pretty sure I threw my keys on the. C yeah, I'm uh, really one of the smarter people and less forgetful people that you will. Or, is it talking about? So I am gonna have to be laser focused today at the gym because I forgot that I'm supposed to be going to work now about 20 to 30 minutes early. Forgot about that, so that takes about 20 to 30 minutes off of my either my workout time or my prep time to actually go to work when I get home. So I've gotta be really focused and be in and out of the gym in about 45 minutes today, which is which is doable, but I have to not be distracted. And that is going to mean a very, very intense workout because I'm, I usually try to spend about an hour to like 70, 60 to 70 minutes on a workout. And I like to hit two to three muscle groups um, with about three to four movements per muscle group. And today I wanted to, to blah, blah, blah. and today I wanted to do chest, shoulders, triceps, and a little bit of abs. And I don't want to compromise any of those, and so I'm gonna still try to do three movements a piece. But what I'm gonna have to do is superset some of those together. And so I'll go straight from a chest to a shoulder to a tricep, 
and then I'll do that at three different movements each so I can get through them very quickly. But I'm going to be absolutely dead by the end of this workout. But I'm going to focus on driving there legally, <laughs> not going to speed at all, that's for sure, because that would be wrong to do that. But I'm going to go. Thank you guys. I guess I'm not going to end the vlog yet, so I don't know why I was going to say that. I'm just, I'm focused already. I'm not even paying attention to the camera or the road, so I'm going to go and drive. <laughs> okay. Woo! That was a very intense workout. 45 minutes, and I did three chest movements, three tricep movements, only two shoulder movements, but then three ab uh, movements. So that is a very successful, intense 45, 50 minute workout, in and out. And uh, yeah, I feel good, I feel exhausted. This camera is very heavy right now, but for the first exercise, I'm just gonna kinda explain what I did since I can't, I didn't show you guys today. Um, hopefully I'll be able to figure out whether or not I can film in there pretty soon. I just haven't, I, it's my, I'm still trying to get used to these hours and I've been asleep every time there, you have staff there. But uh, I started out with a flat dumbbell bench. Um, so that's just bench press with dumbbells. And I did th three sets of five, but I superset at that. And what a superset is, is when you do one movement like that flat dumbbell bench press, you immediately go into a different movement before you finish the rest of your sets for the dumbbell bench. Oh, I keep having to switch hands because my arms are exhausted. Um, and then I immediately went into shoulder flies, uh, lateral shoulder flies. And then I did three sets of five of that. I did three sets of all this, five reps each. Um, and then I went to uh, tricep kickbacks. So I would go from the bench to the flies to the kickbacks and that is technically one superset because you have three movements in one set. And then I would immediately start that over and do all three again and I did that three times, five reps of each exercise. Went really heavy today, um, which I'm using my other hand to stabilize my arm right now because it's just, I'm just, ow. Um, and then I went from that and I did another superset of a incline dumbbell bench. Let's see, uh, I just wanna make sure I don't crash here. Uh, incline dumbbell bench, and then immediately went to uh, a dumbbell military press, um, standing military press, so that's when you stand up and you just push the dumbbells above your head, and then went to a one-arm tricep push down, uh, cable push down, so if you have like a cable machine, put like the little one-handed groups on it and you just push down, oh, this is terrible. And then I went from that and did a couple isolated movements for, well, did one more isolated chest movement and one more tricep movement. And then from that, went to abs. But that is basically what I did for my workout today. So now I am on my way home, I'm going to, it is 7.40 and I wanna leave by 8.20 uh, or 8.15 probably. So I have a very limited amount of time to get cleaned up, have dinner, and get lunch ready for work. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and try to get that done. And I'll probably film a little bit more when I get home. Whew. Right there, that building right there was taxation. Oh boy. That was maybe the worst two months of my life. And then the second worst months of my life was when I was working at DMV. And oddly enough, the thing that branches those two worst times of my life together was my trip to Florida, which is probably the worst two weeks of my life. And so that was like a pretty crappy like eight months, wasn't it? Yeah. Man, you guys remember how like, down, what a downer I was. <laughs> I feel like I was such a downer for just like so long on this channel with everything that was going on. I just, like it wasn't fun anymore for a long time, but I feel like recently we've really gotten back to having a good time and having fun and am I wrong in that or is it, am I delusional? But I really think like, I really think that we've gone back to having a pretty good time here. Yeah, right? I think so. Someone about the religion, cult people? No, the people like just the one, the, 
his son, that guy's son. Is the healing stuff? Can heal, yeah. Or kill with the touch of his hand. Okay, so it is 8 o'clock. I'm gonna leave in about 10 minutes or so, but I'm home. I got my lunch ready, my dinner ready. I'm gonna eat real quick, then I'm gonna go. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. But thank you once again for watching, and I will see all of you guys on the flip side.